Hi, so today I will be sharing how to make blueberry cheesecake cupcake. For the ingredients, we need two eggs, two tablespoons of sugar. This will be for the meringue, one and a half tablespoon of sour cream, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of milk. 3 fourths cup of sugar, 1 and a half cups of cake flour, and half a cup of butter. To begin, we're going to beat the half a cup of butter. The butter should be at room temperature. So I'm just using a whisk in here, and then I added the sugar. So we're going to mix this until it is well combined. Then we're going to add the vanilla. At this point, I'm just going to switch to um, a handheld mixer. Now we will add the sour cream. Continue mixing. this point we're just gonna separate the eggs um, the egg white will go to the metal bowl and the egg yolks will go to the butter mixture right. we're gonna set the egg whites for a second and then we're gonna continue beating the um, butter mixture until it is well combined now we will slowly add the milk as you add the milk the butter will split but that's okay as soon as we add the flour mixture it will come back into one smooth consistency so at this point we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna combine the dry ingredients so combine the flour salt and baking powder give it a quick mix and then we will sift this into the butter mixture And then using a spatula, we just kind of fold in the mixture until it is well combined. Again, do not over mix because the more you mix, um, you will going to develop the gluten. So now we're going to set this aside and we're going to beat the egg whites until it is frothy. Once it is frothy, we can gradually add the two tablespoons of sugar. Once the sugar is all in, continue beating until we reach the stiff peak stage. The meringue will make the batter or the cupcake batter lighter. So that's the purpose of doing this. So this is now the stiff peak stage. We're gonna add the meringue into the batter into additions using the folding method again. Once the meringue is well mixed, we can add the second batch of the um, meringue. Just like so. By the way, your oven should be preheated at 180 degrees Celsius. So before you start making the cupcakes, turn on and preheat your oven. So this is now ready. So I've got a cupcake pan in here lined with um, cupcake liner. So I'm putting the butter about three quarters of the way full. 
and then we will bake this again in a preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes or until when you insert the skewer in the middle and the skewer comes out clean and this is what it looks like after baking now transfer this into a wire rack and let it cool down completely while this is cooling down, we gotta move on to making the cream cheese icing. So I've got 3 cups of icing sugar in here that I sifted, 250 grams of cream cheese, 1 teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of butter. So to begin, combine the room temperature butter and room temperature cream cheese. The temperature should be the same so it's easy to blend. So I'm using an electric mixer to um, mix the two ingredients together. At this point, we can add in the vanilla, then continue beating. Occasionally stop to scrape down the side of the bowl. At this point, I will add the icing sugar. I usually add my icing sugar in three additions. So once the sugar is absorbed, by the cream cheese mixture, I'll add the second one. So this is the last addition of the icing sugar. So continue mixing until the icing is smooth and light. And this is the consistency that I am after. I will set this aside. Now I've got plain biscuits in here that I will process until it becomes crumbs just like this. My cupcake has completely cooled down and I have an apple corer here that I am using to create a hole in the center. If you don't have an apple corer, you can use a um, knife. I've got a store-bought pie filling in here that I'm gonna use to fill the center of the cupcakes. Now we're just gonna cover the top with the trimmings from the center. Now I put my cream cheese icing in a piping bag and I'm using a plain um, tip. If, if you don't have a plain icing tip, you can just use the piping bag. And icing this doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna cover the side with the um, biscuit crumbs just like this. Now I'm adding um, leftover blueberry pie filling on top center of the cupcakes. Make sure that there's a blueberry in there. And this is totally um, optional. I'm just putting um, silver cashews. And this is the finished product. I hope you give them a try because this cupcake is so good. I can guarantee that you're going to love this. And just to show you what it looks like inside when you take out the paper and when you cut the cake or the cupcake. This is so moist and light and delicious. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!